All right, what's up everyone? Greg here. So today I'm going to talk about how I've gotten almost all the way off my depression medicine with zero pain. Actually, the lower I go, the better I feel. Uh, the doctor started me on 10 milligrams. This is Talipram. I'm on less than 2 milligrams now. So I'm more than 80% off and it's like the lower I go, the better I feel. I know a lot of people on depression medicine, they say the worst thing is coming off it. You know, they say it's brutal. For me, it's been very easy, but I've also tapered very slowly, uh, very methodically, and I'll share with you how I've done that. So a quick backstory, you know, I started depression medicine about nine months ago, first time ever taking it, uh, first time even ever dealing with depression, so it was situational depression, uh, but it was bad enough where I had to get on it, and the doctor did prescribe me 10 milligrams of citalopram. That was nine months ago. About five months ago, I was like, all right, I, I want to get off. So I started tapering about five months ago. So very slowly, very methodically, you know, I've had experience tapering off things before, methadone. Uh, I took two years to taper off that, and I had very little withdrawal symptoms compared to most people who feel like they're dying. Uh, so I do have experience with this, but I'm not a doctor. Uh, I just got to throw that out there. Um, you, you know, say what you want as far as be. I think sometimes experience comes more than, than, a, than a doctor. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this, my doctor didn't know I was tapering and I reached out to her and I said, hey, like when I'm ready to start coming off this, how are we going to do it? And she was like, oh, you'll just come down to five milligrams for six weeks and then after that you'll jump off completely. And I was like, oh man, back in my head I didn't say anything, but I was like, oh, that would hurt. Because when I first started tapering, what I tried to do was take seven and a half milligrams one day and then the next day take 10. The next day take seven and a half, the next day take 10. So basically I was coming down an average of 1.25 milligrams a day and I felt that. So coming down five milligrams and then jumping off from five to zero would have been extremely painful. Uh, and I definitely would have went through some pretty bad withdrawal. Um, so, you know, doctors, they aren't always aware of the effects of things like withdrawal and how to properly taper and all that. Just kind of throwing that out there, you can, you know, but you can listen to who you want. I'm just kind of sharing my experience of what really helped me and has made this not only pain-free, but it's almost like the lower I go, the better I feel. So I know not everyone is good at math. You know, there's things I'm not good at. I suck at facial recognition and uh, reading comprehension, things like that. So for those of you who aren't good at math, I'm pretty good at math. I'm going to share with you the formula you got to use. I'll make it very, very simple for you. Before we get started... A couple things I recommend you get. Number one is a scale. You can get this from Amazon for 15 bucks. Uh, it's, a, it's a mini scale, and usually you'll find like a mini scale that measures up to 50 grams. So it measures very small amounts. The second thing I recommend you get is a pill cutter. These are very cheap. They're like five, 10 bucks, uh, and both of them are very worth it. You don't need the pill cutter. You can do it with your fingernails. This just makes it a lot easier. It's just simpler if you want to spend the five to 10 bucks. If not, you can do it with your fingers. Totally up to you. So. What we're going to do is we're going to do a partial weight of our pill. So we're going to chop off a little piece each time. We're going to weigh that. And then we're going to divide that by the full weight of the pill. And then we're going to times that by our dose amount. I know a formula seems confusing, but when you see examples of it given, it's very, very simple. So the doctor prescribed me to 10 milligrams. So my full weight, my full dose weight, um, or I'm sorry, my full dose amount is 10 milligrams. All right, that, that's going to be this number here is whatever dose you're on is the final number. If you're on 40 milligrams, that's going to be your amount here. You're going to times things by 40, all right? The full weight of your pill is whatever your pill weighs. So let me break out my scale here, and we're going to turn it on. I'm going to grab one of my pills, I'm grabbing the drugs, and we're going to weigh it, and it weighs 0.26 grams, okay? So one of my pills weighs 0.26 grams. That's going to be the full weight. Now, when, when you first start tapering, you're going to take off a little piece, and Whatever weight you're on, like I recommend you go down less than 10% a week, okay? So 10% is the max I would go down each week. So for me, I wouldn't go down any more than to 9 milligrams my first week. That's just me personally. So when I first started, I don't remember exactly the weight was the, the first week I did this, but it was something like 0.245 or 0.24, something along those lines. And to do that, I would just take one of my pills, right? I take my either my fingernail or my pill cutter, I take off a very small piece, and then I put that piece to the side. I actually have a bottle for that, like all my really small pieces, uh, just so I can use them to like add on when I need to. So you take off that very small piece, you put it aside, you reweigh the pill, and oh, so you chopped off enough where now it weighs 0.24, all right? So here's how, the, here's the formula in action. You do your partial weight, which is 0.24, divided by the full weight, which for me is 0.26, 
and that's going to give you a certain number. So if you divide this by this, it equals 0.923. And you can use a calculator. I got my computer here. I got a calculator up. You just do 0.24 divided by 0.26 equals, and it's going to give you 0.923. All right. You then times that amount by your dose amount. For me, it's 10. So 0.923 times 10 is 9.23 milligrams. So if I decide on my first week to go down to 0.24 um, grams as far as the weight, that's going to come out to 9.23 milligrams. It's less than 10%. I should be fine. And this is what I did. Like when I first started, that's something very similar that I did. It might have been 0.245, something along that, which would be more like 9.5 milligrams. But I came down very gently at first, right? I gave it a week. The next week, I might come down to 0.23 right? Which would be maybe, I don't know, 8.8 .8 milligrams, something along those lines. Let's actually figure it out. So if I went down to 0.23 for my second week and I divide that by 0.26, that's going to be 0.884 times that by 10 is 8.8. .8, so I was right, 8.84 uh, milligrams, right? So I'm coming down very slowly. So the first three weeks, that's what I did. I did like, you know, half a milligram drop in that range uh, for the first three weeks. From there, I slowed it down. All right, so I'd come down like 0.2 milligrams, but I would do it every three to four days. So I'd come down like 0.2 milligrams, wait three days, come down another 0.2, wait four to five days. I just make sure I'm feeling good still. And the whole time I, I did, so I kept doing that along the way. But after those initial three weeks of doing like a week at one particular milligram, I would do it every three to four days, I would usually come down a little bit. And that's kind of just what I've been doing, all right? So each week uh, or each few days, I, I just do a small amount. I um, cut off a little bit, and I keep bringing this number down a little bit by little bit, right? I keep track. Like, okay, I know my last dose was 9.23. Let me chop off a little bit. Okay, that comes down to 8.8. .8. That's, that's fine for this next drop, right? And you just got to keep following weight as you go down. So, you know, week three, I was at maybe 0.23. Okay, well, week four, the first few days, I'm going to do 0.225. See how I feel for a few days? Okay, I feel okay. Let's go down to 0.222, right? Okay, I feel good. We did that for three days. Let's go down to 0.218, uh, right? We do that a few days. Let's go down to 0 0.1 uh, or 0 0.213, whatever the case is. So you keep doing very, very little drops every few days, and that's what I've been doing, and it's worked great, all right? Just a couple more examples. If, you're on a, if you have a 15 milligram pill, so your dose is 15 milligrams, and you put your pill on your scale, and it weighs 0.33 grams, well, you now have two of your numbers, right? You have your full weight, which is 0.33, and then you have your milligrams, which is 15. So that's going to be this one right here. The only thing you need to find is the partial weight, and we do that by cutting off very little pieces. So let's say you're, you know, maybe a couple months into your taper, and you're down, and you, you do a weight of 0.21. Well, to figure out what milligram that is, you just do 0.21 divided by the full weight, which is 0.33, and that'll give you 0.636. You then take that number and times it by your milligram, your full dose amount, which is 15, that's gonna be 9.54 milligrams. So for those of you who are on 15 milligrams and your pill weighs 0.33, when you get down to 0.21, that means you're down to 9.54 milligrams, all right? So doing this just allows you to make very, very small drops at a time so you can taper slowly. And that means no pain, all right? And it's not necessarily the pain I was worried about as much as uh, relapsing. You know, like as you get depressed, anyone who, who has depression knows this. Once you had depression, like when it comes back a little bit, it can send you through that loop. You're like, oh shit, it's back. Like it's come, like, And that can kind of send you through a downward spiral. We want to avoid that. We want to stay even keel. And this allows you to do that, all right? So one more example if you're on 40 milligrams, so you put, you know, you're on 40 milligrams, you know, whatever it do is doesn't matter as far as the brand goes. You put it on your scale, and your 40 milligrams weighs 0.46. That's going to be your full weight is 0.46 so that's how much your full dose weighs. So you take off a little piece, and it weighs 0.43 with that little piece off. So 0.43 divided by 0.46 equals 0.934. We then take 0.934 and we times it by our full dose amount, which is 40 milligrams. And that's going to give us 37.4 milligrams. All right. So that's how you find what dose you're on when you break off your pills, is you just use this formula. Partial weight divided by full weight times the dose amount in milligrams. And that's going to find the milligrams that you're currently taking that's, that's broken off. Now, if you'll notice, 
as you go down, you're gonna wanna make less and less of a drop in weight, okay? So like when I first started, I dropped about 0.02 grams in weight. I would not do that now. Right now I'm on 0.05 grams, which is, comes out to like 1.9 milligrams. If I drop 0.02 at 0.05, that's a 40% drop. And that's gonna, that's gonna drop me almost from two milligrams to one milligram, that, that's a lot, okay? Or whatever it would drop me from too. It's gonna drop me a good bit, and sorry, my uh, TV's back on if you can hear it in the background, we're almost done. The, the mute just came off. But as you come down, you, your, your weight drops are gonna be less and less because it comes down to proportion. A 0.02 drop here is much different than a 0.02 drop where I'm at, which is 0.05, that would be a 40% drop. This drop here is only like 7%, okay? So just be aware that as you come down, you want to drop less and less weight. Same thing here. Like this is a 0.03 drop, that's fine because it's a larger number, right? It's a, it's a larger number here. So really that's only a, I don't know, like a 7%, well we could actually figure that out. We could do 37.4, which is the milligram we'd be taking, divided by 40, which equals 0.93. Yeah, so that's a 6.5% drop, not that big. A 0.03 drop here would be much bigger, right? It would be more like a 20% drop. So as you go down, just know the, the amount that you take off your pill is going to be less and less as you go down more and more. Again, when I first started, I'm dropping 0.02, right? The first week. The next week, I'm only dropping 0.01 or, you know, 0.015. Third week, I might only drop 0.01. From there, I'm dropping like, you know, 0 0.008. From there, I'm trying to drop them 0 0.007. Like, I'm, it's going down a little bit each time. It all comes down to the milligram amount, okay? So the first week, I'm taking 9.23. Second week, I'm taking maybe 8.8. .8. Third week, I was taking maybe 8.5. From there, I did every few days. So I'll drop from 8.5 milligrams to 8.3 milligrams. Uh, stay there a few days. All right, I'm good. Let's go down to 8.1 milligrams. All right, I'm good there. Let's go down to 7.9. Uh, and then when I get down to five, it's like, all right, I'm going to drop to 4.9. I'm going to drop to 4.8. I'm going to drop to 4.7. Now, you know, I'm at, I'm about, I'm at 1.9 milligrams. I'm dropping like points. So it's going to from 1.9 milligram to like 1.8. It's going from, you know, 1.8 1 milligrams to like 1.7. So I'm dropping very, very slowly, but each time the weight's going to be a little less. Hopefully that's not too confusing. All right. It all comes down to the milligram you're taking though. It's okay to do a, you know, here it's okay to do a 2.6 milligram drop because you're on a higher dose. If I did a 2.6 milligram drop here when I'm only on 10, that's a much bigger percentage, all right? So it all comes down to the dose amount. If you're on 100 and you drop 5 milligrams, that's only a 5% drop. You only go from 100 to 95, that's not that big. If you're on 10 milligrams and you do a 5 milligram drop, that's a, that's a huge drop. You're going from 10 to 5. You're cut, you're, that's a 100% drop or 50% drop, however you uh, figure that. So just be aware of that as you're coming down. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Uh, just comment in the you know, comments below and I'll help you out. If you have trouble with your math or anything or have any questions about how I'm going about it, hopefully this helps. Talk to you all soon.